Hey guys, what's up? It's Mariah from Logan Party Forerunner. Welcome to our channel and thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about the business of doing business while you're out in the woods. So this is what we have that uh, has worked best for us and we like to call it the business bucket. So when you're out in the woods, sometimes when you're overlanding, camping, whatever, uh, there are either no bathrooms around or I've seen pit toilets and porta johns that I'd rather steer clear from and use my own. So I'll show you what we have here. So here we have a five gallon food grade um, bucket with a easy on and off lid. You don't want to get the ones that snap really hard down because they're just a huge pain in the butt to get off. So you want something that's secure but comes off easy. So we have the easy off lid. Um, inside you will see that we have um, trash bags, small scented trash bags, toilet paper obviously, and we also have, um, I would guess this is about a two and a half foot long pool noodle that I just sliced down the edge. So um, you can see that uh, sliced all the way around just on one side and will fit on the lid. And then we also have a food grade um, two gallon bucket with an easy off lid as well and that's what we keep the kitty litter in and we'll come back to that so i'll show you guys how to assemble it and then we'll disassemble it talk about some pros and cons and let you know what you got to do to get it give it a try all right so what you're going to do is you're going to want to find obviously a private area to go to the bathroom we use our cbt shower awning um, it's a super quick deploy pulls right out drops down you can set this in there and you've got some privacy um, to uh, take those 15 minute stall poops. If you have a husband, you know what I'm talking about. It's basically that really long poop that they automatically have to take every time you ask them to do something. Yeah, those. Okay, so we're gonna peel the lid off here. We're gonna take the noodle out. We're gonna set this down on the ground and that's gonna be our platform for everything else because you don't want your toilet paper getting wet or anything. You're gonna take your kitty litter out as well. Set it down, you can set your cell phone or whatever you want on that. Then we're going to take this bag here and I'm going to give you a little bit of tip of a tip when you this is a rather long bag and that's fine but hopefully you don't have to go to the bathroom and fill this entire thing up so you want to choke up on this sucker and I'm going to tell you why choke it up to where it it only drops about halfway through the bucket otherwise you take a crap and it's going to be sliding down the sides and when you go to bag it up like this it's going to look like you're starting to ice a cake it's going to be running up the side you don't want that so choke up on it that way when you bag it up it's all in the bottom and you can tie it up and you won't have any issue so we're going to do that then we're going to put our pool noodle on this is just a cheap walmart pool noodle that we're going to slide on here it just slides right on there you go and that's a little cushy for your tushy there you're going to do your business. I'll let you do that. And then here we have kitty litter. And you're just going to dump some kitty litter in it. Wipe yourself. Do whatever you got to do. And then bag it up. And once when you bag it up, like I said, you're choked up on it. So all your stuff's not up here because you don't want that. You want it down here. And then we usually tie it up. And if we're not somewhere we can throw it away right away, we put it in the box uh, or in the um, bucket with the kitty litter. So we stick that in there and then it just all goes back very neatly, very organized into the bucket. The pool noodle keeps the toilet paper from rolling around. The reason why we keep our toilet paper inside and not on the handle like a lot of people do is because we have um, a hitch rack that we usually put it on in the back and we don't want our toilet paper just being there all the time. It's kind of a pain in the butt to take this on and off. So we like to keep ours dry, clean, and that'll do that. And then you just put the lid back on. So that's assembly, disassembly, how to take care of your business. It's cheap to set up and you if and if used correctly, it'll last a really long time. This has been all over the place with us. It's kind of dirty, kind of messed up, but it's still um, sanitary. You can even change out the pool noodle every once in a while. It's like 98 cent pool noodle. Um, I can't remember exactly how much this cost, but I would say under $15. If you look on Amazon, food grade buckets are super expensive, but if you just go to Lowe's, Home Depot, stuff like that, they're really not. So this whole setup, 
was cost, you know, under 15 bucks to make. I hope you liked this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button for me. If you want to see more, uh, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.